Hey guys, my name is Daryl, and in this video, I'm going to share a list of 10 websites that I currently use for WordPress. Now, most of you who are using WordPress, you, you know, you're looking around for resources, you don't know where to go. Um, I'm going to show you 10 websites that I use for most of my resources with like clients who want something, or if I need to outsource my SEO, or if I need content writing, etc. So let's go ahead and go through some of these websites. Now, first off, and one of the most obvious ones is Fiverr. I use hey, Fiverr because listen. I actually got my logo there. Now my logo right here, you guys can see on DarylWilson.com is right there. I actually got my logo from Fiverr.com. So right here, I'm gonna type in logo design or logo services, and you're gonna find people that'll make you a logo for just like five bucks. Now they have so many different things. In fact, one of them I really liked that I found out recently was the spokesman, spokesperson, a video spokesperson. Now this is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and say, no, nah, I don't wanna sign it. So these people will actually do like a presentation of your company saying, you know, we're from this company and they'll represent your company and send you a video and they don't work for you, but they can represent it. You know, they can change the background and these people are really professional. In fact, I've seen a lot of these people on YouTube, like promoting all their stuff, you know, on other channels. I'm like, that's not the guy. I know who that guy is He's on Fiverr, but it's just the purpose of you can hire someone like really pretty or, or if you're like a, a guy, you might want to, or a, a guy company right here, you can hire this guy right here. He's a top rated seller. Starting at $160, kind of expensive. You might want to stick to the $10 gigs, you know? But um, check out Fiverr for graphic design, logo, or spokesperson. Do not get the SEO from Fiverr. That is uh, a, a website or a disaster waiting to happen. So don't get a website from Fiverr and do not get the SEO. But I recommend the graphic design and the spokesperson. Next is Freelancer. Now here, I do recommend the SEO. Now you can get an SEO company here for as almost like $100 a month that'll do like 10 to 15 keywords because it's very competitive on Freelancer and they all want your business. So Freelancer is a website where you can post a project, like if you need a website, if you need something done, a plugin modification, uh, developments, uh, if you want people to create an app for you, um, SEO, all that stuff you can find on Freelancer. And there are some really popular uh, companies out there that use Freelancer on a regular basis because there are tons of freelancers on there that will do some amazing work. Most of it is outsourced. So if you want it cheap and you want it fast and you want good quality, I highly recommend Freelancer. I found my SEO guy through freelancer.com as well. Next is OnlyWire. Now, OnlyWire is another website that I use. And, you know, when you have a lot of social media profiles, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's really hard to go like, okay, let's go to Twitter, post this on Twitter, let's go on Facebook, post it on Facebook, go put on YouTube, etc. Now what OnlyWire does is that it syndicates your blog post and it syndicates it to 50 different networks. So instead of manually going to each and every website and posting everything, uh, OnlyWire will actually do it. In fact, they actually have, uh, you can sign up for free. I think you can do up to like 10 networks for free, but anything over 10 networks, you have to pay for their pro version, but their pro version is like 50 bucks a year. It's really, really cheap. Um, I use OnlyWire for the longest time because um, it just it saves you a ton of time and it can actually tell you what people like or what people are doing when you post those those um, those posts on websites. So it gives you the analytics for each and every website to help determine you know is that site really relevant for you or do you really need that website. So uh, sign up for OnlyWire. It's a free service. You guys can go ahead and syndicate all your blog posts there. It'll save you a ton of time. Next is scripted. Now scripted, actually, let's do this one first. We're gonna do iWriter first. iWriter is a low budget content writing company. Now you can find content writing for your blog post or for your blog for as little as $1.40, you know? So right here, you can have a blogger, you know, write for $1.40. Now, each of these bloggers are ranked depending on their reviews. So if you have a blogger that's ranked, ranked really well, like Elite Plus, they're gonna charge a little bit more. So right here, you have a thousand words for $72 or 2000 for 145, et cetera. Now I've used this service in the past because I make videos. I'm, I'm making videos right now, but I don't have time to do content writing. And a lot of other companies outsource a lot of their, um, you know, their content writing like Adidas, uh, tons of other companies do that. So if you're looking for a content writer and you're on a budget, I highly recommend um, iWriter.com. The link's down in the description below. Also, they have categories. So these writers all have a specific niche. So it doesn't matter what you're in. You could be into to dogs, you could be into water bottles, hiking, WordPress, and they have a content writer for each and every niche. So iWriter is pretty helpful in that regard. So check out iWriter. Next is Scripted. So Scripted, again, is another content writing company, except 
they're a little bit more on a larger scale. So if you are a, a bigger business and you want things, you know, a little bit more professional, uh, I recommend Scripted. Now, Scripted writes for LinkedIn. They write for Adidas, Loan Me, Apartment, you know, Everbright, Intuit, TurboTax, etc. So they actually work for some very well-known companies, and it's a little bit more than just content writing. They they set up like a whole like a like a plan because with iWriter you're just getting the content. You know, you're just getting the content and that's it. But with iWriter, I'm sorry, with Scripted, there's like a whole like they do research, competitive research. They do future forecasting, like what can we do for your business in the future. You know, they think of topics to talk about because, you know, finding top uh, topics as a, a content writer can be very, uh, it's research, you know, it can take a long time. So they actually have that in their pricing module right here. It is a little bit more expensive. So right here, there's like, a, you know, a long post, standard post. And then they also have like, um, like a, a plan. So I think in the um, writer marketplace or in the, um, the blog ideas or the membership, they actually do that. They actually have like a whole like thing where they just kind of like, um, you know, get a whole analysis of your company and decide what's best for your business. So if you're interested in, in a more higher version or more better version of uh, content writing, I try Scripted. Scripted is pretty well known. They have some very highly reputable companies that use this service. Next is Envato Markets. I'm sure you have used Envato Markets. If you have not, you must be living under a rock because this company sells all of the best uh, plugins and tons of themes. Now, on their themes, I'm kind of, eh, you know, a lot of the themes that they use are kind of like, you know, I guess you can say like whatever. Um, I preferably don't like their themes, but they have tons of sales. So right here is a list of all of their like highest rated themes. I think the best one on this list is for e-commerce, it's going to be Flatsome. If you're using e-commerce, I recommend Flatsum. Uh, if you're using anything else, I like uh, either Massive Dynamic, this one right here, or I like, yeah, that's about it. Massive Dynamic, yeah. <laughs> oh no, OnChine is good. OnChine is good. Uh, Cal, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking at them. I'm eyeing them. But uh, whatever you do, whatever you do, do not get Avada. It's, it's a backend builder. I, I just. I don't know why they're number one, but I don't want to talk about that. Just, yeah. But anyways, go to Code Canyon right here, which is code. And then here you can find some of the best uh, plugins. So right here, popular items. Um, slider Revolution, I have a full tutorial on that one as well. That is a really nice slider. Uh, layer Slider as well. Uh, Bookly, Bookly is one of the best booking plugins out there. Uh, membership Pro or Ultimate Membership Pro, it's like a membership website. Uh, Essential Grid, that's another good one. It's made by the same developers of Slider Revolution. If you're in Europe and you have that communist country, you can get the ultimate GDPR. I'm just kidding. You know, it's it's it's, it's a joke. Uh, scrolling down here, there's like other things you can get, like estimated, you know, payment form builder, etc. There's tons of things, you know. And in let's say you want like social, like a, a social um, social plugin. I mean, they have just tons of them. Like there's just there's so much to choose from. So again, check out Envato Market as well. I highly recommend getting the plugins from that website. Next is Udemy. Udemy is probably the best place to learn how to do Photoshop, graphic design, web development, web design, app development, whatever you want to learn. And these classes, I mean, look how much they cost. I mean, you can get a a uh, 24 hour course with 185 lectures for just $10. You know, I have a friend and he's always looking to find his niche. And I said, bro, why don't you just check out Udemy? And they're just like, oh yeah, man, it's, it's a lot of work. And I'm like, the, the information's there. You can just learn. You know, you can learn Python and then start your own business. You know, a lot of people that watch my tutorials have done the same exact thing. They'll watch my videos and then they'll start their own business. And it's just you getting up out of bed, watching the video, spending $10 and learning it. You know, and I, I really commend those people who do that because it separates the people who are entrepreneurs versus the people who have an excuse and are really lazy about, I don't want to watch a 24 hour course. It's like, okay, then go to, you can go work at a 7-Eleven the rest of your life, you know? And that's usually what happens. So uh, this course right here, or this website right here offers just the most amazing courses. For those of you who like to make video games, they have Unreal Engine, um, a tutorial on that as well, because that's probably one of the most famous. It's the authors of PUBG. So the people who use PUBG, that is the Unreal Engine. In fact, you can learn how to make video games uh, on this website with the Unreal Engine as well. 
Photoshop, everything, you know, um, AWS certification. So there's so much you can learn here. So I highly recommend to go on Udemy. You can be, imagine this, you know, imagine all the times you watch Netflix and all that other stuff. You can be spending time to learn all this stuff on Udemy. The information is there, just, just get it. You know, the link is in the description below. All right, next is Elegant Themes. Now, Elegant Themes is the author of Divi. Now, even if you don't use Divi, you know, I use Divi, I love it. Even if you don't use it, their blog is just packed with just so much helpful information. Like right here, how to display real-time cryptocurrency data on your website. I have no idea how to do that, but that sounds really cool. So you can go ahead and like check that out. An introduction to Google Web Designer. Google has actually created a new web designer. I have no idea how it works, but that blog post looks really interesting. Here they're giving out a free layout pack, how to manage uh, updates for WordPress on a single install for free. I don't know about that one. I'll skip that one. But you can see the amount of content they have is just incredible. You know, um, they have like, you know, topics, ad blocker. Oh, we don't want to talk about that. Shh, shh, shh. You didn't see nothing there. So again, they have just tons of really, um, really cool stuff you can check out. Even they show you how to improve your design uh, with the Divi theme as well. So make sure to check out the Elegant Themes blog. The description is below if you're, if you're at school, if you're, you know, if you're at work and there's nothing to do, and your boss left, you know, you can, you know, check out the blog, you know. Uh, next is the Manage WP. So if you are in web development or web design, you know that like managing five or six websites can be a total pain in the butt. So what this does is that it'll actually sync all your websites into one location where you can check everything. You can check if there's any problems, you can check the analytics, the traffic, everything from one location. Instead of having to go to all those websites and managing from, you know, logging into the dashboard, checking everything. So here you can see that they'll maintain it. You can see if it's secure, you can monitor it, etc. And there's just so much with this company. They do have a, um, a pricing table, but um, it's actually it's actually pretty cheap, you know, so you can do like per website or per bundle. And again, like they have premium add ons like two dollars per website, a dollar like SEO rankings. It gives you all that information. So, you know, I really highly recommend Manage WP if you are using multiple websites because um, if you're just manually checking each and every website, it's not gonna work like that. It's not, you're gonna, you're gonna like pull your hair out and it's gonna be really hard to manage it. This makes it really clean and really easy. So make sure to check out Manage WP. Next is MailChimp. If you need a email subscription service, MailChimp is free and it's really good, I use it. Now it's free up to, I think 2,000, yeah, up to 2,000 subscribers or up to 12,000 emails a month, which is a lot. But uh, anything more than that, you know, the growing business right here, um, I pay, wow, I pay actually a little bit more than that. They probably updated that. So, you know, I better contact them, you want money back, <laughs> you know, but um, they actually have templates. They have tons of amazing stuff. They have analytics and it's a free service. So if you need an email service, uh, get MailChimp. It's super user friendly. I use it on my website. If you sign up for my mail list on DurrellWilson.com, which is supposed to be down here, but I gotta add in something else. You know, I, I, I just rebuilt my website, so I gotta add that in. But if you are um, looking for an email subscription service, I highly recommend to go to MailChimp.com. And a bonus is my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel, again, I do tons of tutorials. Like here, I have a Yoast tutorial, a Divi theme, massive dynamic review, a GDR compliancy, how to make forums, the best themes to Elementor, and the list goes on. You know, I have tons of tutorials WHMCS, a Psychram review, a Divi, I mean, you name it, I have it. So uh, make sure to check out my YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you are a new subscriber, you know, go ahead and check it out. You will find a lot of helpful information there. And I think that is about it. So if you have any questions or if there's any sites that you actually know that you want to let me know about, let me know in the description below. I might add it in the description and I'll probably even give you credit for letting me know about it. There are some sites that are worth mentioning here that I probably didn't mention. Uh, like Skillshare. Skillshare is another uh, helpful uh, website where you can, you know, learn about a bunch of other skills. But I think Udemy is a little bit better. So uh, make sure to like this video. Make sure to share it. If you have any questions or if you want to let me know about a website, please let me know in the description below. All right. I will see you all in the next video.